Hiya folks, we had so much fun in last week's video doing our tour of pubs in Glasgow that we've decided to replicate it here in Edinburgh. Now the problem is the pubs here don't seem to open as early so I'm not sure if we'll get to 10 but we'll give it a good shot. So here's our guide to our favourite pubs in Edinburgh. Our first place is called Tiles, it's right on St Andrew's Square and they call it a cafe bar bistro. So it's a wee bit posher than a regular pub. Very nice, eh? It's some place, isn't it? I haven't been here for years. What are we going to have? I've never been in here. You can get food here as well, but I think we're just going to get a quick drink and then we'll be on to the next one already. nice and warm in here this afternoon and I've got my notes again. Now this is the former Prudential building. I believe it's only been like a cafe bistro for about 25 years. But as you can see it's beautifully preserved and you can also see why it's called Tiles. Onwards. Thank you. Thanks, bye. Wrong door. Right, we've only got about three minutes walk from Tiles to our next pub. She's drunk already, she's only had a coffee. Well, we're just walking to the Guildford Arms and we've walked past the Cafe Royal. I totally forgot about this place. It certainly wasn't on my list. Was it on yours? Well, I was here before and it's really, really cool inside, so... I've never been in there and I think we should change that right now. Yeah. Look at it over there. This place is incredible. I can't believe I've never been in here before. We don't have any notes on this place, but there is some info in the menu. And it's saying that the first Cafe Royal in Edinburgh was founded in 1826 at one register place. That's just across the road. And it was previously a tavern serving coffee and wine as well as beer and spirits. So not quite as opulent as it is today. Now from here, let's count how many steps we've got to our next pub. One, two, three, four, eight. I make that about 15 steps. So I was getting a bit mixed up between the Cafe Royal and the Guildford Arms, but this is the Guildford Arms. And let's have a look at the notes. Edinburgh City Centre's Real Ale Emporium, family owned since 1896 by the Stewart family. A bit of water just went down my neck. Anyway, built at the height of the temperance movement. The Guildford Arms, let's go inside. Okay, follow me. How nice is this? I'm not sure if we can go up here. Let's have a look at the balcony. Aye, we come up to the balcony. I don't think it's open up here at the moment, but we're right up at the ceiling. And how nice that ceiling is. We'll go back down the stair before we get chucked out. So 
that's the Guildford Arms. And we're just sneaking out without buying anything. We've got so many pubs to get to, we can't have a drink in every one. Left me in there. <laughs> I tell you what, when we were in Glasgow, we were so organised, but today we're just all over the place, making it up as we go along, because I've just remembered a little pub on the steps at Flesh Market Close. I think it's called the Halfway House. We were there when we did our Edinburgh Steps video way back last new year. But anyway, the weather is minging, so let's quickly go and check it out. This is such a cool little pub just carved into the side of the steps. And who doesn't need an excuse to stop when you're halfway up for a wee refreshment? We could sit in the beer garden outside. <laughs> you go for it. In the water pump. So it's a totally different style. Oh, while we're here actually, not only did we pass this pub on our steps video of Edinburgh, but also just round the back here, I'm sure it was a ghost sign. Have you seen our ghost sign video? Because that's well worth a look. Some really cool ghost signs in Edinburgh. And there's one just around the corner here. We might not go to it today though, because it's so wet. Just on the wall beside us as well as a poster of the Edinburgh and Lothian's pub crawl. And there's about a hundred pubs on it. We're just having a look at it to try and get some ideas, but our eight or so pubs today, that's just going to be a bit lame, isn't it, compared to that? Thanks very much. Nice See you later. Bye. He's not a good guy, right? I mean. Next pub is my choice. She's running to the pub. We've popped down a wee close just off the Royal Mile, not too far from the castle and also not far from the courts. And we're just going to a little pub called the Jolly Judge and this is where all the real judgments were made. It is tiny, it might be packed. I'm still an alcohol free because one of the pubs we're going to soon is a wee bit out of town. You might be able to guess which one it is, but we're going to drive there because it's a bit of a nightmare to get there by public transport. So it's alcohol free for Steve. Ooh, Bailey's hot chocolate. Nice. <laughs> Bailey's hot chocolate. Ready to go? Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Thank you. Aye, that can be a really nice place on a cold day when the fire is roaring. No fire today, but that was still a nice little stop for us. We're down in the grass market now, just hiding away from the rain. Now, although none of our favourite pubs are here at the grass market, it does deserve an honourable mention. 
you'll find some of the oldest and most haunted pubs in Edinburgh here, including the White Hart Inn, which is said to be the most haunted pub in all of town. Let's go and have a closer look. Starting route to the Sheep Head Inn. Right, that's us back in the van and we're driving down to the Sheep Head. Now the Sheep Head, it's certainly the oldest pub in Edinburgh, but is it the oldest pub in Scotland? I don't know. Maybe. We're just driving through the grass market now, by the way. And this is the reason I haven't had an alcoholic drink yet. And that means I won't get one at the sheep heat either. That's the life of a driver. So here we are at the Sheep Heed, and not the Sheep's Heed, just the Sheep Heed. And as it says on the sign, Scotland's oldest surviving public house, established 1360. And not only a stunning old historic pub, but it's also in one of the most beautiful parts of Edinburgh, Duddingston Village. There's lots of little places like this in Edinburgh, but this one is special. Ready for another drink? Oh, I think so. As we introduce ourselves to the boss here, I just have to cover up the music. Not only for YouTube copyright reasons, but also because, for me, it's just so out of keeping with this wonderful old pub. They do now market themselves as a premium bar and it also looks like you can get a lovely meal here, but it just feels a bit weird to me. Of course, that might just be my expectations of what the oldest pub in Scotland would be like on the inside, so don't pay too much attention to my opinions. There's a wee plaque over here and it says that Her Majesty the Queen visited the Sheepheed on the 6th of July, 2016. Am I the only one who doesn't know what Skittle Alley is? You'll soon find out. Look at that. What? Right, I just went and asked and I'm afraid you can have a shot as long as we restack them. I don't know if this is safe in my hands. I am so bad in bowling, I don't want to make the hole in the wall or something, you know? They don't think that I'm anything special either. Oh no. Ooh. He said when you're finished, could you stack them again? I don't think I need to stack them again. <laughs> hey, well done. None of the mechanical pin replacements here. You have to do it yourself. I wonder how old is this? Hey. So I guess if you've got a special occasion or something, you can just hire this whole place out and have both those lanes to yourselves, but there's not much Skittles talent in here today, so we're out. Hi 
Let's move on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, it's getting dark already. That place, I'm kind of torn. I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Just didn't like the music and like 15 quid for two drinks. You can justify it because it's not the place tourists just walk in from the street. You need to know about the place. It's yeah. not that easy to come here. If you don't have the car, how would you even get here? Yeah. Take the buses, you know, try to find it. So yeah, it's a big, big place. Lights on, heating on, it costs a lot of money. I, I guess, but it's still a wee bit expensive. It is a bit expensive, but if it's the oldest pub in Scotland, I think they can justify it. Oh no, it's getting really dark now and a wee bit stormy as well. But here we are at Brunsfield Lynx. Now this is one of the few free public golf courses anywhere in Scotland. And we are going to the Golf Tavern. Where's the golf course? This is it. This is the golf course. I'm this not, is. I'm not surprised it's free. <laughs> and the Golf Tavern, this is another one of those fancy new pubs on the list. This was established only in 1456. I'm so done now, that's like two days and this is pub number 18. I don't want to see another pub for weeks, <laughs> well, days. <laughs> Thank you. We're just trying to find a wee bit of light so we can tell you about the golf tavern. I'll take the hit on that one. It was pretty soulless, wasn't it? It's like a facade for a place that's got all that history. When you go inside, it's just like mm. the blandest pub you've ever been in without any atmosphere. Yep. I think I was there years ago when I was a student, had a really good night, so I thought we'll go to the golf tavern, but yeah, that was a fail. So that one's off the list. I'm sorry we put that one on, but it's one of the 10, but it'll be down at the bottom of the list, I'm afraid. And as I say, for somewhere that's got that much history, that's a real shame. Number nine, Bennett's Bar. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Right, I'll need my notes for this one. We're in Bennett's now, which is right next to the King's Theatre. And it's one of the finest old pubs in Edinburgh. It's been a pub here since 1839, but it was changed to Bennett's in 1906 when the brewery became the theatre. And since then, not much has changed. It's full of Victorian architectural delights, including a little jug bar in the corner. And that's where patrons who didn't want to be seen could be served in private. So we're now in that little jug bar, it must be about six foot by four foot. I guess this is the smallest little private pub in Edinburgh. Ready to go out again? I think so. Thank you guys. Cheers, thank you. We're on Charlotte Square, the weather is absolutely foul. We really don't want to be here anymore, but we've got one more pub to go to. Now, what is that pub? We'll give you one clue, and that clue is Rebus. Any ideas? 
Here's another clue for you, we're just passing the Cambridge Bar. So here we are, the Oxford Bar, our final stop. And if you're familiar with Ian Rankin and the Rebus series of books, then you'll know this as a setting from the novels. And in fact, Ian Rankin, even at his stag do in here. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are we? <laughs> The last drink we've made it. Cheers. Are you glad we came now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful place. Thank you. See you later. Bye. And that was the Oxford Bar, and that is the end of our Glasgow and Edinburgh series of pubs. It's been a lot of fun, if not extremely tiring. <laughs> Thanks again, folks, and we'll be back with something a wee bit different next week. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.